Hello, it's me, Agil Thorson. In the course of filming, you get asked a lot of questions, you know, anything from what kind of pants do you wear to do you like bright bread, white brown bread. And one of the questions I've got asked quite often is, why did the Saxons invade Great Britain? Not as clear cut as you might think. So this we're going to have to go way back in time. Now, imagine the legions of Claudius marching through Kent. And as they went along, they were suppressing the locals. Now, it doesn't do to have local people fighting the local English. So what do you do? You get people from the Rhineland who go to fight on Hadrian's Wall and the British go out to Palestine and the Rhine. So, how do we know that uh, Germanic peoples were in the Roman army? Well, if you look at Hadrian's Wall, there are inscriptions on there that are common to the Germans. There's one, a god called Saxnot. I'm not absolutely certain who or what he represented but you know we've that, that's obviously Germanic and as time goes on they settle into the ways of the British and they probably could well settle here it's not beyond the realms of possibility have their own communities however after the Romans had left there was a war where the Huns were attacking the Saxons. So, if you settle in England and maybe your relatives are under threat, you send a message saying, come over here, families of those come over. And things rub along quite normally. Uh, you have the Romano British, you have the Saxon people living here, maybe intermarrying a bit, but by and large, Everyone is rubbing along quite well. King Vortigern of the Romano-British wanted to seize land and have more power. So he called in two well-known mercenaries, Hengist and Horsa. He promised them land east of the Isle of Thanet. So the guys came over in three ships. It doesn't sound a lot. But you're talking of a nation that has been used to being unarmed and protected by a powerful army. Well, that army's gone now. So Hengist and Hawes are po uh, uh, piled up with their warriors and they cut a sway through for King Vortigern. Horsa is killed. Hengist says, right, time to pay up. Vortigern, well, he doesn't pay up. Okay, matey. You won't pay up and give us the land and the money we asked for. We're going to take it. So they ran a, a mock. King Vortigern was isolated and basically got a lot less power than he had. So the Saxons then began to settle. It's a different world from the Roman world, the buildings themselves they said were the work of giants. And people say, well, why didn't they move in to the uh, Roman buildings? Well, they were unsafe and they hadn't got the techniques to repair these. In fact, there is a case, I can't remember where it is, of a skeleton that was found under a fall of masonry and the skeleton dates from 5th, 6th century after the Roman occupation. So it was probably a wise move not to actually move into these buildings. They brought with them their Germanic gods, their ways of living, and uh, as I say, history has proven, it was very, very successful. So, yeah, you know, that's one of the main reasons they came here. It was also rich farmland, and it was safer. I mean, yes, you got raided occasionally, but... Uh, the, the um, Saxons were used to defending themselves, unlike the Romano-British. Now, there is a book by Gildas called The Ruination of Britain, 
and he's a merry soul, not, and he blames the Saxon invasions on the will of God. And he goes into detail as to the Saxon raids and the Battle of Mons Badonicus. So what's so special about that? Well, there's supposed to have been a, a battle which Arthur took part in at Mount Baden, Mons Badonicus. He said he was born 44 years after that, but we've no idea actually when he was born. So it's not much help. But we know the Saxons uh, were very capable fighters and as I say, the Romano-British, they had no experience of it because they had a professional army at one time which had gone. You got one or two people left, warrior types, ex-centurions and people like that who settled. So it was pretty much a done deal when the Saxons started taking over. And. Uh, as I say, it's an amazing uh, thing reading about it at this time. Not a very pleasant time to be around because you just, it's just not safe. So anyway, those are the reasons why. To be honest with you, most of them were here, over here anyway, prior to uh, the so-called Saxon invasions with Hengist and Horsa. I hope I've stirred an interest in you and that you're happy about this. Um, if you'd like to subscribe, press the old subscription bell in the corner there and hashtag vi um, Saxon Tales and leave us a comment. We'll always get back to you. It does take time, but please don't be afraid to send it in. Oh, one more thing. If you have any ideas that you'd like to hear discussed or you'd like to hear us research, just leave us a comment and uh, we'll look at it and uh, we'll get back to you. And uh, Good luck on that. Happy hunting. We look forward to hearing from you. So, in the meantime, till we meet again, stay safe and make the world a happy place. Bye.